hi guys welcome back to my channel so i have already got my brows on i've actually been trying them um a little bit different recently i'm using a dip brow instead of my brows which is you know been a bit of a change recently trying to make it more wispy but just priming my skin with the um mattifying pro filter primer from fenty and then going in with the pro filter foundation from fenty beauty as well so that's going to be my base for today i did build up the uh, foundation probably to like a medium to full coverage um i really wanted to go for full coverage skin today so i'm going to be doing cream contouring and all of that so i'm going to go in with my tantor in the shade light from huda beauty and i'm actually going to first place this with a brush um this is just quite a, a dense brush that i'm popping this on with and popping it in all the areas that i really want to kind of contour and shape so obviously underneath that chin gotta make that jawline snatched um obviously in our cheekbones along the forehead and all of that now don't be scared i know this looks like a little bit crazy at the moment it looks like a lot of product but it's actually not that bad and a little goes a long way with this one so don't go too crazy just taking the excess down the sides of my nose for a bit of nose contour but as you can see once you start blending it out with the sponge this blends out like an absolute dream it doesn't dry too quickly um, but it does you know once it dries down it does not budge and, and just making sure that that's all nice and blended but as you can see the color is perfect it's um not too cool tone but also not too warm or orangey at the same time and then i'm just going to take this morphe concealer which is super light for me so i'm just popping this right in the center and then what i'm what i'm going to do as well is take another concealer in a minute this is the Too faced born this way in the shade almond which as you can see has a little bit more of a yellow undertone so we've got that nice brightness right in the center and then we've got more of that yellow undertone to help blend into the rest of our makeup so i'm just taking my damp sponge from morphe and really lightly blending this in what i did do is leave this um, for a minute just to get a bit more tacky so that we get the most full coverage um, that we can in this area making sure that that's nice and blended and seamless dream now we need to set it taking the loose setting powder from Anastasia this is my absolute favorite setting powder of the moment just really lightly um, setting all of that because we are going to go in and bake in a minute so I just want to do a light set make sure that everything's kind of not going to budge and then I'm going in with an excess amount of powder and allowing that to bake for a minute I'm also baking underneath that contour just to make it look a little bit more sharp um, you know and really make those cheekbones pop and now we're looking super cute leave that for a minute and we're going to go in and bronze i'm taking my hula bronzer from benefit i am literally obsessed with this bronzer it's so nice the color is perfect and it's not muddy or anything it's really easy to blend literally a dream so i'm just taking some down the sides of my nose as well just to emphasize that nose contour a little bit without being too harsh it's like a nice soft color and then i've wiped away the bake but I've, i'm also going to go over with some of my max studio fix foundation powder just to kind of blend that nice and seamlessly into the contour and bronzer and then this is my favorite portion of this this eyeshadow look is so so easy i'm taking the melted well one of the new shades of the melted shadows from huda beauty this shade is french lace which is a nice kind of lilac -y purple shade literally pop it straight onto the lid as you can see then i'm taking this fluffy brush and literally pressing it into the lid and then doing kind of light blending motions i change the brush to another one and just blend that up into the crease and it just gives it's so easy it gives like the most amazing blended out look and then taking the diamond drip side which is the shimmer side I'm popping this onto the lid and as you can see it's ridiculously pigmented so shimmery and with this wand you can pretty much cut your crease like no problem don't even need to go in with another brush and then dipping into the Umbreezy and Anastasia palette I'm going in the shade in with the shade cupcake which is kind of a nice lilac shade as well and just kind of using that to blend into the outer corner and then doing something a little different today rather than just kind of blending the shade in the outer corner I thought I would just do a wing it's like i don't know nice colorful wing something a little bit different and i'm using the shade semsa from that amrezy palette and a little angled brush and it's really really easy to do like it didn't take very long at all and i think it looks really effective um and it's so much easier to clean up when you go in with the shadow as well um so as you can see in a minute i'm just taking a little bit of concealer and just sharpening the wing on the outer corner and such a good and easy way to kind of implement more of a colorful wing into your life because why not then taking the same uh what was this french lace shade underneath um, my lower lash line and blending it out again super easy taking a bit of that semsa shade from the Amrezy palette and blending that underneath the lower lash line as well just to give a little bit more definition underneath there and then going in with barb which is the nice kind of pinky iridescent shade popping that into the inner corner 
and then I use the Anastasia lip palette to create this little lilac shade to go in my waterline just to tie everything together and then we're gonna pop some lashes on these are the Kate London 11 lashes literally obsessed so wispy and beautiful and then for highlighter I am really loving the 3d highlight palette from Huda Beauty recently I'm gonna take the most golden shade in there and popping that on it's just so smooth but really pigmented and just beautiful it gives a really nice glow from within kind of look but I do always like to use the Laura Geller Gilded Honey for my nose highlight I don't know why it just always works the best and then I'm just taking the Tarte exposed blush sorry I don't show it but I'm taking that it's like a nice pinky matte blush onto the apples of my cheeks now we're looking cute then taking sugar mama uh, liquid matte from huda beauty gotta keep the huda beauty theme going i'm just taking this nice pinky nude shade all over my lips and it does dry down matte which is lovely but i did want to add a little bit more definition so taking a tiny bit of sweet tea lip liner from morphe because i just can't do a look without it then setting with some morphe continuous setting mist and the look is done complete full coverage easy glam eye boom so this is the final look you guys i really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial so it's pretty much a full glam beat contour highlight the whole situation but with a fairly easy eye look actually i'm obsessed with the melted shadows from huda beauty if you haven't tried them out and you really struggle with eyeshadow it's literally the easiest thing to use ever and i know that i used um, a few extra shades from another palette but you really don't you can literally get one look just with these two shades um if you did like this video please make, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one bye